Why, Kate? Why, Kate's hunting? Today is one of Marcel Aruda Welch's final regular season practices with the Garden City Fighting Gophers. The grade 12 student first stepped onto the field four years ago after deciding he wanted to take a crack at it. Didn't really take football that seriously. When I was in grade nine, just whatever, it was another thing. My basketball was my main sport. Then I started to get better at football, so I took more seriously, went to some camps and got a lot better. The defensive back and running back quickly established himself as one of the Winnipeg High School Football League's top players. Before the season even started, the league's commissioner and coaches named him the best player in the province. For somebody that never played until grade nine, his, his knowledge of the game is pretty impressive too. He sees things quite well. His skill set speaks for itself. Uh, we're lucky to have someone like him around because he went to do some things that uh, normally you wouldn't be able to do with, uh, with the average player. Um, and, and that just uh, makes us a better team. Wilk says it's that knowledge along with his agility, speed and athleticism that make Aruda Welch an exciting player to watch. He's a very, very quick, agile athlete. Some of the runs and returns he's made this year um, have been, have been you know, jaw dropping. This season is Garden City's first in the AAA John Potter division. The team moved up from AA after a dominant 2014 season where Aruda Welch was named the division's offensive player of the year. We didn't try to do anything fancy or trick anybody. Uh, we have some skilled players and we try to get them the ball and on defense uh, we got a lot of guys that are playing two ways and we try to plan for our opponent and just, just work hard and uh, get better every day. That's something to kind of talk about because it's, it's not going to take one or two guys that, uh, that they have that might be special to win in this division. It's going to take all 12 guys that are on the field. So um, that's really been the key to our success so far this year. I thought we were going to do really well. I talked to a lot of guys that played AAA last year like for other teams and coming back and I like no teams thought we were going to do good at all like they thought we were all going to get killed by whatever 40 points whatever and we I think we surprised some people I always thought that we were going to do well though Aruda Welch is garnering a lot of interest from scouts across North America. After this season, he'll most likely be attending Canada Prep Academy, a program that helps student athletes get into university and equips them with the skills necessary to balance sport and academics. Regardless of where he chooses to play, Wilk says Aruda Welch will shine as a player on and off the field. I've received emails from parents of grade nines in years past that are you know, worried about their son playing, uh, you know, as a 13, 14 year old uh, at a high school level, and they've said, you know, this Marcel, I don't, I don't know who he is, but this Marcel kid, my, my son talks about them a lot, and he's doing a really good job, kind of bringing bringing my son uh, into the the program, and uh, that's a coach's dream when you when you get those emails, right? You keep those ones, so. Yeah, he's a good, good kid, good heart. For now, though, the focus is playoffs. Garden City is heading into the postseason, tied in third with four wins, three losses. So what is your plan going into the playoffs? Win. For Shaw TV's Go, I'm Jessica Cable.